Okay, today on the woodworks, I'm gonna do some seafood, gonna do Greek style shrimp. Let me run down the list of ingredients. It's one and a half pounds of large shrimp, one and a half teaspoons dry oregano, one and a half teaspoons dried dill weed. I have fresh dill weed, so you can use either. Red pepper flakes, six cloves of garlic chopped, one large red onion chopped, one 26 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I have two 14 ounce cans. The juice of half a lemon, two tablespoons of chopped fresh mint, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. You're gonna want some feta cheese to garnish at the end and some Kalamata olives and salt and pepper and olive oil, of course. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of set up a little marinade for the shrimp. So just gonna take um, some olive oil and hit the shrimp with a little olive oil. This is gonna help all the seasoning to stick with it. So I got my one clean hand and one dirty hand so I can put, you know, all the, the herbs and the garlic in it. So first gonna hit it with some salt. Some pepper. Some of the oregano. Some of the dill. And then some of the garlic. Probably just a couple cloves of the garlic. And then mix this around. Make sure the shrimp has all that flavor. And then we're just gonna set it to the side to be cooked in a bit and let's take it to the stove. Okay, Greek style shrimp. Gonna get some olive oil in my pan. And we're gonna start by sauteing the red onion. Now I'm gonna add the garlic. And I'm gonna let that go for about three minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna add my tomatoes, which I have a little bit more than what's required, so I'm holding a little bit. Gonna add um, the lemon juice, the rest of the oregano, and then about a tablespoon of the dill. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna let this come up to a little simmer and then start adding the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so everything smells fantastic, but now I'm gonna add the shrimp in and just gonna cook it till it's pink. Um, the last thing you want is overcooked shrimp. It's terrible, these are beautiful shrimp from um, my friends over at Blue Runner. It's where I get all my seafood right up the street. So just gonna let this cook. Chicken. And we'll be close, once the shrimp is done, we'll just add some of the herbs and the olives and we'll be close to, it'll be finished.
Shrimp are just about done. Like I said, you wanna be careful not to overcook the shrimp. I'm gonna add some fresh mint and parsley. Then a few of the olives. Now you can add the feta cheese now if you want. I prefer to let people add that on their own per plate because some people might be lactose intolerant like me. <laughs> um, but I'll add some on the top when I plate it up. But this is done. This is ready to go. And now you see how beautiful it looks with the color. I'm just gonna add a little more mint and a little more parsley. And that's it. I'm gonna turn the heat off and plate it up. I'm excited because it looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. So let's give it a taste. Okay, Greek style shrimp. I mean, I already know it's gonna taste fantastic because I've been tasting as I've been cooking it. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. First off, you're getting the, it's quality fresh shrimp, so it's fantastic. But I'm getting all the fresh herbs, the mint, the dill, the parsley. Mmm. So tender and flavorful. This is really a simple dish. Oh. Wow. Please try this at home. It's fantastic. Really, really simple. The main thing is don't overcook the shrimp. Once it starts to turn pink, probably turn the heat off and it's done because it will continue to cook in that sauce. But it's just, this is fresh, healthy, especially if you don't overload it with cheese. I just sprinkled a little bit on top. And feta is really salty, so you don't want to put too much on it. I would leave it up to people, put it on the table and let people sprinkle it on there as they want to for their plate, but this is fantastic. I am really, really proud of it. Um, Greek style shrimp, try it at home. Mm-hmm. <laughs>